What is up, everybody? It is Bucket Mouth Bash back here. What is up, everybody? It is Bucket Mouth Bash back here again today. One of y'all commented the other day, Bucket Mouth Bash, that should be my channel name. And to be honest, it actually sounded kind of cool to me. I kind of like that. I might switch my channel name to that. But for now, I'm still Bucket Mouth Bass. How is it going today, guys? I'm sure you guys already see the title. Today, it's going to be a controversial one again. I love making these kind of videos, guys. A lot of y'all are going to disagree with me. If you disagree with me, go down in the comments and let me know. Today, what we're going to be talking about is rivets versus welds. We're going to be talking about the three biggest differences between those rivets and those welds. Some of you guys have been commenting that rivets are better than welds, but some of you guys have been commenting that welds are better than rivets. Today, I'm gonna share my personal opinion and what I think that y'all should buy with your hard-earned money. If you guys have not subscribed, go below, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything in the future. I make all kinds of boating-related videos, fishing-related videos, uh, rod and reel comparisons and different stuff like that. We're actually going fishing tonight. Hopefully it's actually worth a darn and we catch something. That is what I'm hoping. It's been very slow this summer. Go down below and comment your fishing experience this year, guys. It has been all crazy. The lake has been closed most of the year because of the virus and everything like that. So it's been real hard for me to fish on the boat this year, unfortunately. Let me know down below in the comments how y'all's fishing have, has been. I love hearing y'all's experiences as well. But let's go ahead, cue the epic music and the intro. Alright guys, now that y'all are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing, hitting that bell. I really do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and jump right into number three here today. So number three, rivets are more likely to fail and or develop cracks over time. So what I mean by that is rivets are less sturdy than welds. That's just the way it is. Welds are more sturdy than rivets are. And especially over time, guys, especially if you're looking to buy a used boat, over time, rivets become less sturdy, okay? They bend, they flex, they become less and less sturdy the more and more you go to the lake and the more and more you use them. So they are more likely to fail you and or develop cracks than welds are. I'm not saying that welds don't fail and don't crack. I'm just saying that rivets are more likely to have issues such as cracking or failing you when you're out on the water. And in my personal opi opinion and experience, I don't wanna have to deal with rivets failing or letting in a bunch of water or having to replace rivets over time because it's really annoying. I don't feel like having to deal with that. And going back to the factor of buying a used boat, if you guys are buying used, okay, these rivets could be anywhere from one, two to, to 10 or more years old. So you definitely don't wanna risk it, guys. If you're buying brand new, you want to get a welded boat because it's going to last longer, okay? You're going to have to maintain it less. And some of you guys are going to go down in the comments and be like, oh, well, you know, Lund has a lifetime warranty. But so let's pretend it's March, okay? We're headed into March, okay? You have two rivets fail. Your hull is failing. You have to send your boat back to Lund to have it fixed and it doesn't come back for three to four months. You miss all of fishing season because you had a riveted boat that failed you. Yes, it's under a warranty so you don't have to pay for it, but you just missed all of fishing season, okay? So it's easier just to buy a welded boat and not have to worry about as many problems going forward in the future. Number two, rivets let more water into the boat than welds do, okay? Water physically cannot go through welds. It just can't. Water does not go through welds. Rivets, however, they bend and they flex, so they allow water into the hull of your boat, which I cannot stand. I don't want water where it does not belong. I don't want it in with my batteries. Now, any boat's gonna let in some water. 
and boats are meant to take on water, I get it. But if I can avoid excess water on my boat, why wouldn't I do it? And you avoid excess water if you just get a welded boat. It only makes sense to me. I do not want rivets, I do not want extra water, and especially considering if you have wood on your boat. So for example, we have the Bass Tracker 175. I don't want water puddling up in the bottom because the decking is made out of wood and it could lead to your deck rotting. So I definitely don't want to have to deal with extra water in my hull. I don't want to deal with it, that's why I like welds. I do not want any of that extra water. And again, going back to the time factor with rivets, over time rivets bend and flex which causes them to loosen which allows even more water into your boat and can lead to small leaks in the bottom of your hull which you definitely don't want to have to deal with even if you have the lifetime warranty. I mean, do you really want to have to deal with sending it back to the manufacturer, taking it back to the dealer, not having your boat for three, four, five months, however long it takes for them to actually get around to fixing it. No, you don't want to deal with any of that. So do yourself a favor and buy a welded aluminum boat. It's a lot better and will last a lot longer. Number one on today's list, drum roll please. Welds are harder to separate and break than rivets are. It's a stronger connection between the metal than if you use rivets. It just is, that's the way it is. Welds are stronger and they will last you a longer time. Rivets are more likely to give out on you over time. I'm not saying that a riveted boat may not last you. I'm simply saying that you're more likely to have problems with a riveted aluminum fishing boat than if you buy a welded aluminum fishing boat. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed that a riveted boat is going to fail on you. And I'm not saying that a welded boat is guaranteed to last forever. I'm simply saying it's more likely to have problems. The riveted boats are. Now for my final thoughts and opinions. I think y'all already got it throughout the video, but I will tell y'all one last time. If you're buying a used or new boat, avoid potential problems and do yourself a favor and buy a welded boat. For me, it's a simple decision. I will never buy a riveted aluminum boat, okay? Because they're more likely to have problems that I don't want to have to deal with. Welded boats are less likely to have problems, so why would you not just buy a welded boat? It doesn't even make any sense to me. Some of you guys are going to go down in the comments and try and convince me that rivets are better than welds. Okay, that is not true. That is not true. Welds are better than rivets all the time, no matter what, unless your welder is just that piss poor. But usually at the factory, they have decent enough welders for an aluminum fishing boat. They should not have super lousy welders at the factory, so you should be safe. Thank you guys for watching my rant here today. If y'all disagree, go down below and let me know in the comments. If you agree and you liked today's video, go down and leave a like so I know that you liked today's video. If you guys wanna see more, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss anything. I will never tell you guys false information on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video.